How are you doing today? This is David. Today I'm coming to you from the book of Philippians. And actually the top of the book right there on the page right up here is where we're going from Philippians 4.13 to a very popular scripture that most of us are very familiar with. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. I know you probably recall me out. You've referred me saying before that you should always get the context of the scripture that's read. So we're going to go up just a little bit right here as Paul speaking. Not that I speak in regard to need, for I have learned that whatever state I am to be content. I know how to be abased. I know how to abound everywhere and in all things I have learned both to be full to be hungry, both to abound and to suffer need, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Now, a lot of people just go right here in this verse and stop and take this verse and run with it. But remember when I said context, 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 you have to read all this right here to bring you down to this point right here. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. So what it says, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. I hear a lot of people talk about, I can do anything because Christ is going to give me the power to do anything I want to do. Um, primary example of the scripture, of how I've seen it to be used by a lot of people is this. Take, for example, um, I typically sing in choirs wherever I go. And mind you, a choir is a very popular ministry in the church. But it is in the choir where you get a lot of people who like to join, who do not necessarily have the voice to sing. But we allow them to sing in there anyway. And sometimes we don't want to hurt their feelings and say, Oh, brother or sister, so-and-so, you probably should consider another ministry. And excuse the people in the background are doing some training. But we say, brother, so-and-so, you may want to consider another ministry. But a lot of times we don't have the, the confidence or the courage to tell them that because we don't want to hurt anybody's feelings. So the choir is kind of like that testing ground ministry. Uh, so... Speaking on that note there, what happens is people will go with the verse, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me, or I can just go and I can sing through the choir and God is going to give me the strength to do that. Or, you know, people decide to do certain things or want to do what other people do in the church or with their gifts or what have you, or you see somebody performing some kind of act or doing some other type of some other type of skill and gift that God has given them that God is not necessarily giving you. So when he says that scripture, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me, you have to remember those couple of verses before that when he says he learned how to go through suffering, how to go through strife, how to deal with all those certain things. So how I want you all to use that verse of scripture is this. When it says, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me, for your infantry ministry note, I want you all to do this from now on. Whatever circumstance, whatever, whatever situation that you deal with in life right now, go to that scripture. That scripture is not set there for you to do every single thing that you see done by everybody. That scripture is to give you the strength to know that Whatever happens in your life, whether it's good or bad, are you, are you super sick, are you feeling bad? Paul said he can do all things through Christ who strengthens him. It's through Christ that Paul was able to deal with the circumstances of being poor, being beaten, going through suffering. He can do all that through Christ who strengthens him, not I can do everything I want to do because Christ is going to strengthen me. And that's where people take that one scripture out of context. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me means 
I can deal with to go through anything because Christ is there to strengthen me. Just like when Christ was here, he went to the Father and the Father strengthened him to go to the cross to die for us. Now he's died, the Holy Spirit has come. Now that spirit through Christ in us now can strengthen us to go through whatever we're going through. Are you sick? Some people may have cancer. Some people may can't have children. Some people may have a terminal illness. Some people are struggling on a job. Some people may be going through such a dark period in life, but they tend to forget about the ministry of hope that Christ has given us. His hope is this, not that in all that we go through, everything is going to work out, that everything is going to be okay. He said in this life, in this world, you will suffer difficulties. But when you see that scripture, also go back to this one verse that we are studying today. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. I can go through, I can deal with everything through Christ. In Christ, he'll give me the peace and hope that I need. There's one verse or one story that I've heard that you probably also have heard. The artist said, could you paint me a picture of peace? And a man painted a picture of a flower sitting in a garden. He said, no, that's not peace. And another guy painted a picture of butterflies flying in the sunset with rainbows. He said, no, that's not peace. Then another guy painted a picture of a bird sleeping in the nest on the branch that was overhanging a cliff where there was waves crashing and there was a windstorm. That's peace. Can you rest like that bird rested in that nest over that branch where the storms are going through? Christ is not here for us just to have a happy-go-lucky Disneyland life, but he's here to give us the peace to go through the storms in life. The enemy is always going to be there to trip you up and your own sin and your own self, your own self-doubt saying that you're not good enough, you're not worthy enough. You may feel insecure about your own image or picture. You don't want to take pictures of yourself because you feel insecure how you look. All sorts of things that you yourself, your own simple self is telling yourself that you're not worth anything. But my friend, I want to tell you, you are worth something. Somebody's telling you that you're not good enough. You are good enough in Christ. But if you think you're good enough in yourself, that's where your insecurity will always keep rearing its head. When you feel like you're not good enough to be in front of a camera, if you're not good enough to take a picture, if you have insecurities about your own body, about how you look or anything like that. That's all insecurity in yourself because you're looking to you to build up your own self-confidence. And if you always depend on you, no, let me rephrase that. If you depend on you, period, that's not where it is. Christ wants you to deny yourself, to put yourself to death spiritually and to depend and rely on him. You can do all things. You can deal with all things through Christ who strengthens you. He's there to strengthen you through the storms, not when the sun is up. Maybe that's why the Bible sometimes likes to bring up the storms. Because you see, it's in the storms, that's where you need to be strengthened. You don't really need to be strengthened when everything's going okay. Because when everything's going okay, you don't really need anything because it's just you. But when you're going through the storms, you need somebody. So think about that. You can go through whatever you're going through right now, whatever insecurity you have right now, any problem that you're dealing with, you can do all things through Christ who strengthens you. Have a good day.